Thank you, Cynthia. What are you mulling on these days? So, hey, Bob. Cynthia, Linda, oh, go ahead. Uh, Catherine here. Um, I was really stimulated last week and um, about, you know, the various roles. And you mentioned going to the gym. Uh, next week I start. I'd have to put my university professor hat on to teach, right? And one of the things that I love from the early days, I don't want to say the old days, but the early days, was that uh, exercise we would do around creating um, in front of us like a circle of energy and step into that energy, say, first round and it's like increase the ability to receive by say 10%. And then we step out of the circle. Do you remember that exercise? Vaguely, vaguely, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we should do a lot of weird stuff like that. Let me oh. <laughs> uh. But the circle would increase and the power would increase and we'd step into it. And, and One, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I jumped in on you. One thing was to sort of depersonalize it in case people say, but I'm not sensitive. I can't feel my own energies and they're all eye tight. Yeah. Uh, it's to play this game that, okay, there's a ball of energy out there. Play the game with me and we're stepping into this ball of energy, whatever it is. And it, well, any sense from this ball of energy, and it's okay if you don't have a sense at first, we'll step out of it. Now the ball of energy is getting a little fuller there. Okay, maybe you want to eat easy. Now let's step into this ball of energy. And she, oh, I suddenly felt warmer. Did I make that up? Let me think about that. Don't go there. <laughs> uh, all right, maybe it was warmer. I don't know. I got nothing to prove here. It's just my, my off the top sense of it. It felt, felt a little warmer. All right, we'll see. Ah, and then settle down a bit and increment up the mm -hmm. circle of energy and step into it again. Uh, just to start to try to facilitate people getting more sensitive to things. Um, uh, in, in a way, when we did one Friday night being in a wind tunnel of en energy and feel the energy push you, I was just trying to acclimatize, ac acclimatize people. I'm gonna learn this language one day. Acclimize. <laughs> people to, 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 that there's something here, feel the push of it. So that's why I had you play the uh, wind tunnel game. So you can feel, hey, there is something here and it does affect me. Okay, so the ball of energy was probably based a little bit uh, in that sense. Do we cover it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You okay? What are you guys mulling about these days? What keeps you awake at night other than Corona <laughs> or the fire getting too close to my house? Yeah. Okay. Since uh, when, yo. You, when you asked that question, I was thinking that, especially when you said the, I'm not in the gym anymore. I'm now stepped out. Now I'm listening. These transitions are less and less. For me, this becomes more difficult. It's more a blur because everything is at home. I used to... Oh. Go for a long walk, and now we have smoke here. I can't even do my walk, and everything is a blur. And it's hard to find these transition points. Uh, all right, we'll do the dumb practice that we did to start with. Let the energies flow for an entering. Okay, and after five minutes or whatever, then shift a bit. You're going to let the energies to help you turn. There it is, right there. I'm an enterer. Now I'm changing. I'm going to be a turner. For, for that, pattern. another one. Now I'm a step backer. It's, uh, if I'm mostly sitting in my chair at home. Well, you got to get off the damn chair, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, in the chair, in the chair. Uh, you, I probably won't. You could, but it might be too subtle to feel in the chair, imagining myself, dot, 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 whatever. Now, after a while, in the chair, imagining something else, D, D, D. It's feasible, but I think at first you'd have to be a little more sensitive to the energies. 
Uh, so to hit you, to try to call up more at first gross energies, just to facilitate. Later, they can be very fine and you'll, you'll pick them up and let them mix. It'll mix up a finer character you. Uh, but to do from the chair at first, yeah, feasible, but not at first. What are you guys, Molly? Hi, yes. Sensei, this is Dusty. Thank you for your time. Uh, I've been musing about, you talk a lot about not, not going into the thoughts and the imagination of the ideas. And I'm wondering if those ideas, if it's more of a absorbing them or letting them evaporate in order to like make a little note, like you said. Ah, uh, I think I heard you. Say it one more time for me. Well, like those ideas and those thoughts, they're, they're outside of ourselves a lot of time. And I'm just wondering if it's, if you want to take a note of it or to let it go, if it's a matter of kind of grabbing it and absorbing it or letting it dissolve. Uh, okay, let's, let's try this. Uh, let's say, let's use this to say you're having an experience here. Uh, oh, my, my hip just suddenly kicked in and, and it feels stronger, whatever, you're having an experience. Uh, there's something in the system where that a signal, excuse my words, a signal is sent from that experience to this, ah, oh, yeah. oh. And you can even go further out where you uh, begin to, and I'll put eyes on this one, where you begin to turn and look at it really awareness of, okay? Uh, so every time you have a little different experience, a signal, bear with me, uh, naturally goes to an idea. And you can even go further out on that. And that's when I say, don't stay there. If you're doing Aikido, for example, and you have an experience on your technique and you come up here and you stay there, from that moment on, you're getting weaker and weaker because you're not in the body as an experiencer anymore. You've kicked here. And some people stay there. And you say, no, where's the body? Is that? OK, so that signal, I'm aware of it. I might even take a quick moment and acknowledge it. But I come right back to the experience as soon as possible. Thank Where are we on yeah, this? Yeah, back to the experience. Thank you. Is that OK? That's a very important basic, by the way. We'll have to bring that one up again. Very important. Because uh, we lose in, in, in awareness work and stuff. A lot of people who have an experience and suddenly start thinking about it and even going out further, uh, and they really lose the experience and they don't catch that they did that. Uh, that would happen in meditation, because in meditation, you're going to have an experience. It's going to be like, oh, wow. And then you're going to think about that, oh, wow, and maybe even go out further with it. And, and forget to come back to the experience to continue on the uh, journey you're on. Have that experience again and again till, till you're flavoring what it's flavoring about itself. And then you can move in even a finer dimension of that, okay? Meditation is not thinking about or being aware of something from out there. It's an internal experiential. But we lose a lot of people who get caught up in that move and stay there, okay? So if you trigger out, fine, come back. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that... Sort of okay. Yeah, that that is. I guess I was just to come back to the experience. Um, yeah, just coming back to the experience. I was thinking of absorbing it or dissolving it, but I think what you're saying is just go back to the experience. Yeah, I, I don't want you to say too long. Now I've got to dissolve this. Uh, you're, um, for one thing, it's something that's going to keep you away from more of the experience. So it almost could become a cop-out. Let mm -hmm. me dissolve this so I don't have to experience anymore because I'm getting a little leery here. It's getting too, too fine for me or something. So let me cop out. 
it could become a cop out. I'm not saying you're doing that, but you, you see how that could happen where they're so busy dissolving, they're not meditating anymore. They're not having an experience anymore. They're dissolving. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure what more to say about it, but you don't have to dissolve it. Just, uh, just don't continue on its journey. Hmm. That's where this guy came from. Uh -huh. He's on journey. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as your head starts to kill, yeah. stop. Uh -huh. Come back to the experience. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah. Where are you guys mulling on? Uh, I'll take this a, a step further. I'm mulling on... Um, on relationship <clears throat> and I'm mulling on um, I think a, an Ike alternative to maturity and immaturity in relationships something that um, that connects with head heart Hara that doesn't just say mature relationship immature relationship you're going to lose me here, by the way. Oh, good. You have to understand, I'm not an intellectual. I'm a guy of the street. I'm the practical man, I hate to say guru. Uh, so keep it simple, keep it to the point for me, for me. Everyone else is probably understanding everything you're saying. Where are you going with this? What do you want? What's the question? Well, I'm, I guess I'm wanting to go into the unknown and, and, and you know, maturity in relationship is, sounds very knowable. Okay. Uh, to be a mature person, is that what you said? Maturity? Yeah, emotional maturity, okay. yes. Okay, now I'm emotional. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, at a lesser level, we get very emotional. You okay with that? Yep. Okay. Now, my game is to say, okay, uh, emotions are an energy. Okay, just at a certain level, we give them a different name. But they're, uh, they're energy. And my game is always, where did that come from? Inferring what's the finer of that? Uh, before it was emotional, what was it? And not just to know about it, don't just read a book, but to actually feel this finer level of that that was emotional and experience what it is at a next level. It may not be perfect yet, but it'll be a little better somehow than your emotionality, let's say, okay? Uh, so I like to backtrack those things that push me or annoy me or nag at me and say, whoa, why are you nagging at me? Where are you coming from? What are you really saying? So I talk to them and I ask them to explain themselves. And again, not just listen with my ears. I soak in them. I partake of them. Uh, I experience. I want to feel them and feel what they're saying. Is that and that's what I virtually do with everything, uh, is go to the finer dimension of it, or at least the next dimension of it, okay? And hang out with it and experience, that's where I can come up with at the moment, experience its flavor with itself. And in that experience, by the way, helps reshape me a bit. So I could be uh, emotional at a certain level and at another level, uh, be aware of uh, those emotions, uh, but not be so shook by them or be more intelligent with how I use them or radiate them or uh, what, whatever. So that's always my game. Uh, what's the finer? What's the before of this? Okay. I'm trying to get people to go dimensionally from this tight human condition we're in, okay, we're all sort of locked in here at different levels, and how to unwind through that torque locked in to get to the finer of ourselves, so as an I, self, uh, 
definer of self, the more original of self, and eventually a soul self, make up your own words. And the energies that are torquing around at better dimensions show uh, that they're better. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so you, virtually all my work is based on that. We're all congested in air. How do we uncongest? How do we, how do we unwind? Meditation is a way of unwinding uh, uh, using the I to self. Who am I really? Who was I before I was I? If Bobby were totally gone, who am I? Do I exist as an experience of self? I do the same thing with the energies. Uh, wow, that energy is really pushing me. Oh, what do you got to say, energy? And I play the say what game. Because uh, when the energies first hit you, they could be horrible nags, like you're a horrible person, or you're a failure, you're a wimp. I go, whoa, I settle and I open. I say, say what? Meaning I'm opening to, to a little bit more open space of it where it can dialogue a little bit clearer, okay? And it's say on a second level, maybe it won't say you're a wimp. It'll say, well, you're not very strong. Okay, settle and open. Following that track, say what? And then soon it begins to change its uh, tonality. Uh, you could be stronger, you know. Uh-huh, now that piques my interest. Okay. And then I continue, say what? And then it'll begin to show me something about uh, where strength comes from or something like, like that. But see what I started with was this voice in my head saying, you're a wimp, you're a wimp, you're useless. You ain't worth shit. Whoa. I track it to its finer. And I partake of it. I actually experience it. So it's not just an intellectual knowledge. Intellectual knowledge won't give you the guts of the reality of this energy. You might know about it, but you'll still be in a certain way gutless or whatever. Okay. So it's very important that we catch the difference between the intellectual knowing and the actual experiencing. That's what Osente tried to do by having us do physical stuff to include the stuff of the universe, not just the intellectual awareness of it. Uh, we're missing half the universe. Anyway, uh, does any of that do you anything? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm yeah. doing stuff. The more diverse the, <clears throat> the prior feels more um, etheric, more spatial, less um, constrained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Thank you. There'll be certain there'll be certain ways you know you're moving into a better dimension. Uh, a sense of a little more room will clue you in. Uh, a sense uh, 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 that you're not so busy bing, 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 bing between your, you know, bing, 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 bing up here. Uh, that things are maybe a little calmer, quieter, or something, and sense of more room, a little sense of easiness. After a while, there'll be a feeling like, whoa, this is home ground. It feels like your easy chair at home or your home after a trip. Uh, there, are, there are a variety of ways that it'll show it's a better dimension. It's just a matter of you learning the language. By experiencing, you, you'll learn the language. You'll, you'll kind of be able to track yourself uh, dimensionally. Should I say it that way? See, I can do simple ones. I can just stick my hand out, okay? Now, I feel that I'm a little tight in the shoulders and the hand's a little short. It just feels like it's stopping short. Nothing wrong, it's just the level I'm at. Easy, settle open. Ah, same arm. It sort of moved out there a bit different. It moved out on a little bit like a current or something. And it feels a little bit longer and a little bit stronger. And the shoulder's still active, but not as bad. That tells me I'm in a different dimension. Easy and settle. Ah, ah. Next. That one had a lot of something flow to me. A lot of similarity of the last one, the way it moved out. But there was an extra little being carried. It 
something supported my arm, like there's a, a balloons under my arm lifting it. You know, okay, touch in the shoulder still, uh, but definitely a little bit longer, uh, definitely stronger, and it's pinpointing there. Uh, da 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 da. So uh, uh, it's easy to measure dimensions if you just choose something like that. So as soon as I move my arm or feel my hand, I can tell roughly where I'm at, give or take. Yeah, is that is that okay? Thank you, oh. Sensei. <laughs> Perhaps someone else has another question. Thank you, Sensei, or another wondering. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Sensei, it's Dennis. Hey. Uh, so you I don't know where your rabbit went. You were looking for your rabbit. You couldn't find him. There went the magic trick. It's up. It's up in the kitchen. It's up in the kitchen. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so I don't. I don't have a question, but I've been uh, thinking about. I'm, I've been curious about. Uh, who I'm becoming in all of this. Uh, there's, you know, there's been a lot to have to let go of. Like, you ha I had to just gone. It, it's all gone. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to come back or when it's going to come back, but I can't think about that. So I'm really kind of like, oh, this is, this is new and this is interesting and look out, look, there's something to learn over here and something new to learn there and there's something. So I'm really fascinated about who I'm, what's developing here. Yeah. Really you are bad. so not alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, that's a, uh, in fact, my notes for in case you guys weren't forthcoming was on clearing and why we don't clear and our fears about the next us that mixes uh, so right on what you're saying, uh, it, which really I should uh, keep a whole Friday just for that. But let's see, anything we can go over quickly. Uh, so yes, letting go, and I'll bring up a bunch of different words when we highlight that uh, subject. Uh, uh, letting go is one of them. Easy the eye is another one. Because if you keep a tight eye, it's very hard to get the next mix you with an old eye. Now, Bobby can't retain an eye if there's going to be a robber that emerges out of this mix. If Bobby's eye is still there, he's killed Robert. <laughs> Ain't no way there's going to be a full Robert there. Uh, so we have to learn a couple little tricks of how to trade everything in. Uh, my sense of things, my that eye, let it all go. <laughs> uh, and there we're going to bump into stuff like some people are going to have fear of letting it go because they're going to be afraid there'll be nothing and they won't be able to get out of the nothing and they won't exist. So I was wondering when you were talking if you're going to throw in a fear word uh, there. Is that fearful to let go of yourself? No, no, it's been, it's been <laughs> fantastic. It really has been liberating and... Uh, like I said, I'm really curious and, uh, you know, I'm really fascinated by what is developing. So there's, you know, the fear kind of shows up once in a while and then I kind of go, nah, there's no, there's no space for that here. Yeah. Fear, fear is natural. Uh, um, um, even when I got pretty versed in moving faster, uh, at those major lines where I'd be afraid I was going to die and not come back, uh, when I got faster, I would notice a split second of that fear, but just a split second, and bing, I'd be in the next level. Yeah. And then at that level, there'd be that fear, bing, I'd go right past it into. So after a while, uh, I don't even know if I would notice. I don't even think it's there anymore. Uh, but it went from re real fear of letting go more uh, into just a blip. And now uh, I don't even notice it, so I don't even know if there's a blip anymore. But if there yeah. is... Fine. It feels like it's getting shorter and shorter. Like it just kind of shows up for a moment and then, oh, okay, all right, fine. Let's just move along. Yeah. yeah. But this whole subject of trading yourself in is another phrase. Let's take everything of Bobby and let's trade him in. Well, also part of that is downtime. 
what, what I tried to teach at the beginning of Corona here was, oh, it's downtime and how to <clears throat> stay alert or active in the downtime to get this better mix of the person who deals with Corona. Okay. See, a lot of people can't deal with it. They're going crazy, bouncing off the walls. Sure as shit, somebody's out there beating up on their wife as we speak, you know? Um, uh, so that downtime is part of this trading in, let go, uh, and, and any other words, whatever words that you like, or whatever sense that you, you have, clearing, clear. Okay. That will work for some people. For others, they may not like that word. Okay, let go. They go, well, let go of what? Uh, don't become an intellectual here. You're stopping the actual experience. Another potential cop-out. Well, if I study it enough, I don't have to experience it because that scares the shit out of me. Ta-da. <laughs> okay. We have to be warriors, you see. So every, I say in it, you've heard me say this before, Dennis. Uh, the true warriors, a la O Sensei, aren't people that like to bleed. Some of us like to bleed before we got into Aikido. That was no big deal for us. What scares us is letting go of Bobby and hoping there's a Robert there, hoping that this is true, what we're talking about, but not knowing and letting go. That is scary shit. That's where you have to be a warrior. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah thank you yeah yeah anyway this is a whole good subject we'll we could do a whole friday it's a very important piece yeah uh, uh leichner you jumped in on that is there uh what's your fear there mr leichner of trading in of letting go of melting of the ah so Part of what I'm recognizing Wait a minute. is how- Where the hell are you? Menlo Park. Um, actually, I'm in the Caribbean. I'm waiting for my margarita to arrive. <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Jesus. You know, I'm in a shop space and I figure this is more friendly than technology. Oh, Certainly more cool. appropriate. But um, cool. I've been recognizing all through this that many of the things that I consciously or unconsciously have used to anchor myself in the world aren't there. Many of the things that help me to define myself, help me to define my relationships to others, they're not there. Yeah. And you spoke of this a few uh, weeks ago. You've spoken about this knotted and relaxing it to allow it, I see it knotted to blossom, to open, to expand, to allow something else to flow in. So a large part of my practice now, two pieces. You spoke about the thoughts that come up, the fears that come up. I'm finding for myself that rather than push them away to resist them, if I give them very quick attention, got it, I hear you, it's okay. I can get back into process again and not get caught up with. If I just acknowledge, I can let it go more quickly. Yeah. That's a piece. Yeah. Yeah. The other is that I'm beginning to really trust there is something different. I'm not my practice on the mat in the dojo. I'm not me, the engineer, going in every day. I don't know what's coming next. Yeah. But I'm starting to get much more comfortable with the notion, this is going to be cool. I really want to see what's there. Yeah. And I haven't the foggiest. Yeah. yeah. It's both exciting and scary. Yeah. We have to deal with it. Yeah. Um, imagine, uh, Robert, uh, uh, people being senseis of a dojo, but they're losing their dojo. They can't pay the rent they're walking. Uh, their tendency is going to be to, I got to retain this and maybe, maybe it'll all come back and all the students will come back and you'll be the famous teacher in your neighborhood again. Uh, or Ah, I don't know. If this, if all of those things I was hanging on to, uh, mm -hmm. you use a different word, uh, referencing for who Using you were. Using to define myself as a way. Yes, those, yeah. Uh, 
and I would say things were hanging on to. Just or to I was on. hanging on to them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I don't have to experience this downtime or this let go of, and this I'm not sure for a while and hope there's something there that's going to make. Uh, so where, where was I going? Uh, oh, the Aikido sense that uh, how many Aikido teachers are going to let go and see what's there. Mm -hmm. See, it's kind of scary for some people because they've had their whole identity as I'm a dojo owner. Okay, I hope it continues, but, 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 <laughs> who knows what? And so to have the ability of mixing up the next mix for what the hell ever is going on out there. Okay. Whereas we tend to hang on for what we knew from yesterday was going on. When uh, the story I always tell is uh, you don't want to be a harness maker. Okay. For horses, harness maker. When Mr. Ford brings up his new product. Profound? Yeah. Brad, was that profound? <laughs> yes, it is. It, it's over. It's over. And it's a bitch. Oh my God, my whole life is over. Well, your life at that set is over. But the way the system works, you can remix to be a character of the present situation whatever it may be. So that also okay. touches on a question for me. In some cases where somebody's going to come in, there's going to be a strike. I need to be big, more present, full grounded base to deal with that energy. I have a sense. Was that an attack? Was that yeah, a union strike or a physical strike? Um, physical strike on the mat. Okay. Someplace right. where, okay, this bigger thing coming in is familiar. I have my body, my system has a sense of responding to that and mixing something that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Here, it's mixing and preparing and being open for something that I don't know. I don't know what it looks like, what it will feel like. It's rather than doing exercise, rather than doing this process that we know to move to something that we understand at some level physically our system knows to respond here it feels more like opening allowing relaxing preparing a space something can be moving into uh okay i lost part of it so bear bear with me uh, after a while as you practice with lots and ends you get used to it is better okay mm -hmm. Uh, if I do a little process, my uh, uh, punch got better. Okay, so, oh, yep. I'll let go some more and let energies mix. And lo and behold, my punch is better. So this happens over and over. Therefore, I begin to trust that if I let go, it's going to be better somehow. Okay? Yep. Now, Something some will move. I, yeah. I, I'm, some I'm sorry. Uh, I, let me aside for a moment. Roy, are you out there? There you are. Roy, when we were doing qualities uh, and you said uh, yeah. you ran into a quality that uh, sort of surprised you, what was it? Quality, not royalty. What was it? Roy? Uh, nobility. N nobility. Nobility. Oh. Nobility. Can you hear me? Yes. Nobility. Yeah. Okay, so here's an example. And one reason we did these quality, open up to a quality and uh, be smart, try to get to for the uh, balance harmony, kind of important trick. Anyway, so Roy did one and nobility was there. And, and he wasn't, he was surprised by how he told it to me uh, that that was there. He sort of didn't recognize it. But here's the point, that was there. That's part of his uh, better mix and uh, and as you feel these different qualities like nobility or beauty or and I don't know endurance or understanding or whatever uh, you you sort of it it helps you let go because this is so fun and so exciting okay 
Okay. So to catch how it works should make it easier for us to let go. Okay. Uh, so I'm just using Roy's as an example of, look, at there was a quality there for him. And it was one of the first ones that showed. Uh, so I know it's a major, but one he hasn't tapped. Knowing it's there, he can uh, call it up again and say, hey, please show some more and hang out with it and soak in it and see what kind of character nobility makes. Okay. And include it in his package. There'll be other qualities that will partner with that or sort of a, a package, an assembly. I sometimes call it being squared away. Does it not in the physical sense of squared away, but getting all the qualities, click, 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 mixing more squared away person is how I use that phrase. So again, whatever words that you like. Uh, but anyway, that example of, of Roy's, it's like, uh, don't be afraid to let go. There's not really going to be any, any monsters or you're not going to, some people are afraid, I have to cover this on a Friday, when they let go, it'll be uh, 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 some stranger here. That's why I use the example of Bobby, Robert, not though. I'm trying to get across to you, it's just more of you. Now, maybe parts of you, you didn't even know were there. Okay, like nobility, that's why I brought that up. Uh, but when you get it, it's like, whoa, and you soak in it and you let it mix you up as a noble person, uh, just to get a better flavor for it, you're gonna really, really like it, okay? Uh, they have to offer you more money at work when you're walking around noble. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that work for you, Roy? <laughs> uh, so, I haven't okay, seen uh, it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I'm I'm hoping. Uh, yeah. So anyway, you begin to. What I'm hoping one day is a lot of these things I've laid out tie in better together, so we get the grand opus, O P U S opus. Yes. So we did that. We did this. We did that. But I'm hoping one day you'll go. Oh, oh, that. Oh. And that there's a similarity to everything, thank God. Uh, uh, you know, like the, the earlier one on uh, speaking, listening. Oh, yeah, it's going to follow that same trajectory. Boom, be beam. And as they uh, do finer and finer, the character that's getting mixed there is going to be a better listener speaker. Has to happen. That's your mother and father at the moment. <laughs> oh, somebody. Where are so, we? Sensei, I always enjoy when you tell stories about what O Sensei said. Ah. Well, I had a couple for, for if we we're going to do that session on clearing. Do I want to waste them tonight? <laughs> Uh, okay, one thing he said was uh, careful of offering negatives. You're offering something so that, and you touch a certain level where boom, the next beat comes out at a better level. Okay, so that's basic. Uh, and eventually that beat can go all the way back to the, uh, back to the, beginnings of the whole universe. A sense they did great work there. Uh, any, anyway, uh, don't carry the negatives too much as negatives. It interferes a bit with the next plus of things showing and being. Is that good enough? Okay, I have a better one. Uh, again, uh, I'll repeat this if we do a clearing Friday. Uh, but uh, Osenta said he had to clear because when he was a kid and, and the uh, hoodlums beat up his father, he was there. And he couldn't do anything. He's a little kid. I don't know, seven years old, whatever he was. Uh, but he said when he saw the hoodlums beat up his father, his sense was it's a cruel, bad world. The other thing he picked up at that time was I'm weak. I can't help my father. I'm weak. So along the way, he bumped into those two things and he had to clear past that 
to continue being who he was. Uh, so we all have things uh, that will clear along the way. Does that, that story excite you any? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, explain clearing. Uh, again, I think that's a whole Friday night thing. Uh, uh, clearing is one of the words I use to, as part of the trade-in. How do we trade in from a Bobby to a Robert? Uh, well, we have to settle, we have to open, we have to clear, we have to let go. Uh, come up with your own words. What do you get to the next level of anything? What do you have to let go of? What What's your trick for? Uh, 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 you just had an argument with your boss, and you go home and you're still going through that argument in your mind, but you're getting bored with it. You want to be with your family now, not thinking about your argument with the boss. What do you do? to shift out of that into being daddy at home or mommy at home. Uh, you all have done a little bit of this before. You may not have noticed what you did. That's where I come in. I take these little things and I study the shit out of them. But you did something. You shift from worrying about what the boss said to being at home with the family, whatever, whatever. So clearing, settling, Opening, letting go, uh, let me see what other one there. transforming, yeah. so it's just a word, clearing just a word, but again, I'm going to tell you to find your own word. And again, I think that subject is really, we should have a whole Friday, it's a very important sub subject, so. Can we come back on that another day? Time is running out, folks. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm well. This is Danny here. Can you hear me? That, who was that? Danny. Was that again? Danny. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, good. Maybe I need to be closer. Um, he, some of the words you use, and one that you were using uh, a few weeks ago was partake, and um, kind of cottoned on to that word. And, and I, because I've been meditating for a long time, and there was something for me that wasn't fulfilling. And as soon as I approached with a partake attitude, everything changed completely. It was almost like there were invitations coming to me to move to another level, to another dimension. I, I found it very, very helpful. First thing I would ask is, do you think you were doing uh, one of these things, uh, aware of you meditating? I, I think taking for me yeah. involves a little more sense, feeling, experience, soaking in. I would I call think that that's what taking. happened. It's, yeah. I wandered yeah. into the awareness of it. What? Yeah, happened. the actual, yeah. yeah. And when you got a certain degree of actual, it will naturally move on into the next. That's why we have to be sort of present fairly fully. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be a perfect Bobby to shift into Robert. <laughs> uh, but a certain amount of fullness, and that fullness naturally. Uh, when we did the one by two by three by game, which we should come back onto, that's a great game. Uh, that we ask you to have a certain amount of fullness as a one by oneer. Uh, that's why I ask people to say, "What do you like about one by oneer? What don't you like about one by oneer?" To try to make sure they were there fairly fully in a one by one. Okay, and if they could say what they like and what they didn't like. It clued me in that they were probably fairly full there. Okay, That naturally begins to move into a two by two. We didn't have to do those steps. <laughs> okay. We should naturally move into. So yeah, hard take. And I'll say but people, won't, that word won't mean anything to them. That's why I want you to have freedom to use these words. I'll try to give you the sense of it, uh, like uh, experience. 
but not some people are going to think about an experience and they'll be over over here instead of here in the smack dab middle of it yeah. uh, it's a little thinking about it uh, let me let me study it let me look at it that's it it's it's, it's gone okay. uh, anyway I was thinking of a sentence. They said something I was reading in my notes around in there. I can't remember what it is right now. So, anybody, anything? We're eating up a time. I don't mind. I'm, I'm getting comfortable here. Anybody? There was a Japanese healing school. I forget the name. Energy Healers. And uh, a friend of mine, a judo guy. Yeah, he was a judo guy. And he got fascinated by energy healing. So he invited me uh, to meet this lady healer. And uh, she passed her hand over my back. And she was passing her energy hand over my back. Uh, my energy was tracking her hand. Okay. Because I was a more energy guy. Uh, and she got very excited and picked up the phone immediately to call the head teacher at the head school. The man to see if it was okay for her to bring me into the school because they were sort of, you couldn't just walk in, you know. And my friend who had been under her tutelage for three months or so uh, or, or more was shocked that she immediately asked me to go uh, because it was three months before she asked him if he wanted to go check the main school. Uh, uh, again, just the sense that Energy recognized energy and energy related to energy. She picked that up and and uh, anyway, uh, but the head guy was pretty cool uh, on his healing pattern. You'd be out there like 15, 20 feet. And as soon as he hit a bad spot on your spine, bing, it would react. <laughs> and he'd, oh, yeah, it's, it's whatever, whatever, uh, whatever it is on the spine. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, so I wasn't that interested at the time in going into energy healing, although we did a lot of it in the early days. I did, you know, I thought that was a good way of bringing out a healthy, safe way of introducing energy to people because I wasn't sure, uh, if there was a, uh, a killer energy instinct. I wasn't sure. So I thought I'll teach energy healing and stuff. That was, that was fun times. Different story. Bing, where are we? Did those sensei talk to you much about the energy of circle, square, triangle? Oh, God, yeah. That was one of his favorites. Uh, they represent something, rather, let's see. Ah. Uh, check with Wada. Wada loves that shit. Gary <laughs> uh, Dobson, too. <laughs> I forget right now. One is uh, the self. Why, why don't I remember? Anyway, at the moment, I'm blank. One is the self. Uh, the other is the realm. Uh, the other is probably the character. Character, realm, self. Yeah, probably something. But I forget which which. I'm, I'm, I blanked. Did you have any... But it was a common, common thing. He would uh, diagram. On Did you, you have any like, interesting interactions with Terry Dobson? Oh, he used to hang a bit. Uh, want me to say something brilliant? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Terry was Terry. I don't know. Uh, he made a mistake. He should have gone into writing humorous martial art books. <laughs> he never could find himself a certain way. I was wanting to do something, never could find himself. I was, I was, because uh, he could tell stories. He was, he was great at telling stories. Uh, and he liked martial arts, and uh, he's getting very comfortable in Japan as a Japanese wife. Da, 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 da. I always thought he should write some uh, humorous martial art kind of book. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got nothing much to say about Terry. Nice guy. Uh, you want to ask anything particular? <laughs> you didn't get any fights with him? <clears throat> any what? Any fights with him? Fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terry was a grappler. Uh, where I see those? What? What's fighting? <laughs> okay. 
I'm an Aikidos. We don't compete. We don't punch each other out. I'm sorry. Where are you coming from? <laughs> Terry was also a bouncer. He bounced other people. Didn't bounce me. <laughs> hey, good. Uh, yeah, his character could tell some funny stories. Uh, since Somebody, it is, this is Lauren, yeah. and I have a. I've been musing about something myself, and it. The question, the word is uh, perseverance or endurance. Mm -hmm. And we've talked that last week and this week again about how we have to let go of being the past and let go of who we think we are in order to become who we will be. But at the same time, I see the wisdom of that, but at the same time, it seems like we need to endure through the current adversities, we need to persevere on our path and not simply yeah. give, give you up make on that the best you can and then you do the best you can until it's time to let that one and remix a better one so after you mix do the best you can okay here comes a fighting situation all right now if you're students of mine you drop you open you get energized at that level here comes the guy closer and closer now you got to start to move with them okay it may not be the best mix you've ever done, but it's all you got right now. You better hang in there because you don't have time to go, oh, wait a minute, sir. Let me settle down and open up because I want to get to a better level of me. You can't do that when they're on the attack. You got to hit and be the best you can be. Okay. If it's extra strong fellow, then be that. If you didn't hit your normal super person, so be it. But, but, uh, Move from what you got, function, persevere, if that's what you mean by that word, okay? But persevere doesn't mean being stuck at that level forever. That's its downfall. I'm Bobby and I'm gonna persevere as Bobby. Whoa, that scares the shit out of me. Uh, just that sense of persevering as Bobby, oh my God. I don't wanna go there, yeah, geez. Uh, so I don't know what you mean by perseverance. Yeah, if you got a job to do, goddamn do it. Okay. Now you got to know when to drop out of that and remix and be a better job doer. Uh, you got to time yourself. There's no set rule. You got to know when to fold them, when to hold them. Joanna, um, I'm thinking about after um, clearing, they mm -hmm. allow. Um, could that be another subject for another class or how do you okay, keep I'm, I'm, I missed the word. Yeah. The After clearing what? I, I missed the word. The allow. Allowing. Allow. Allowing. Allowing, receiving. Clear, clear and allow <laughs> the energy to mix up however they want to mix or allow the energies to show whatever qualities they want to show or Allow the system to show you how it mixes and produces. Allow, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. See, a tight eye has trouble allowing. It, it really kind of won't, not really. Um, it's a critiquer, it's a worrier, it's a control freak. Uh, so your Bobby's eye, the, your tighter eye, he's a bummer. Yeah, got to easy the eye. And then words like uh, whatever words you just use uh, become actual. Yeah. Sensei. Yeah. Yo. This is Andrew from Aikido yeah. San Jose. So yeah, let's Andrew. say, um, hey, um, so let's say you clear and go to the next level. Um, you were we were talking about uh, sometimes we would get qualities that we would ne that we never knew that we were that they were there. Um, could you make the argument that as you as we go up to go through the levels that maybe those gifts were there? Maybe we just have to get to well, they, that. No, they always were there. They always were there. They're there now. We're here. How do I get you here to there? They're there, but we're here. <laughs> you see, Andrew, I was talking to this guy who was here. <laughs> Stop it. Settle. Open something and they'll they're there and they'll show you it's there 
the harmony of the universe is there, but I'm here. What do I know? <laughs> Settle and open. You start to get a feel for it. See, mm -hmm. on that talking, listening, somebody was thinking, hey, there's a beat here, isn't there? And a, is there a relationship between these two? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. Settle and open. And, and yes, it's starting to show. Yes, there's a harmony. Yes, there's a beat. Yes, there's a relationship. Yes. Uh, it's all there. You don't stay here and create it. Mm -hmm. You settle and open and realize experientially, mm -hmm. oh, that it's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I'm a dumb kid. <laughs> I'm, I'm lucky I made it to junior college for a year or something. Uh, the vocabulary of college is not in my system. I didn't know what UCLA meant. For years and years. It's a family I come from. Uh, but a lot of my knowledge was picked up by settling and opening and clearing. And suddenly, this is like knowing things. It was just knowing. It's a, knowledge is there. Experiential knowledge is there. It's there for you if you want to settle and open. And if you want to highlight that one, you can call it up. Hey, please, let me let me be smarter here. Let's see what intelligence is or something. Uh, I talk to it. Say, hey, I could use a little da-da. Hello, are you there? <laughs> okay. Usually the best bet is that I'm not sure what the hell I need because I don't totally know who I am. So... Would you show me who I am, please? I'll open it, and I'll try to do the best I can in letting you mix up this next guy. I have to tell you, though, I'm a little worried. I'm a little fearful here, but I'll do the best I can to open up and, and, and let you guys, you guys. Uh, oh, Sensei would call them uh, gods. What's, what's the word Sensei would use? Uh, Kami. Kami-sama. Uh, huh? Kami. Kami uh, yeah, Kami-sama. You guys. Hey, you guys. Say, I'm a Yankee boy. You don't give me this commie song bullshit. You guys, hey, you guys, I know you're here. Come on, work with me. Come on, show me who I am. Come on, okay? I'm a street kid. I, I, oh, but I must be spiritual, you know? I must wear white robes and just hold burning incense instead of a cigarette and speak softly and sweetly. Uh, excuse me, but fuck you. <laughs> okay, I can play that game, but it's a for me it would be a game. Uh, come on, I'm a person, you're a person. Come on, I'm scared, you're scared, but let me show you a couple of tricks I picked up. Come on, if you put it, oh my guru is great, but you're still an asshole. What good does that do you to have this great guru unless you are doing something within your own self experiencing? Okay, so a lot of that, oh, my guru is really special, is a, is a con on yourself to keep from experiencing yourself. You're so busy praising that that you're not doing anything this. Hi. Something like that. So I don't want to sound too harsh, but come on, people. <laughs> that was and perfect.